Good morning guys. I'm Matt and you're on the Isla Familia channel. So uh, today uh, I will do some good good deeds to my car again. Uh, look at that. That's the that's the coolant uh, reservoir and as you can see it's broken and the plastic here is like already like crunchy and damaged like you, you can touch it and it will be broken m like more yeah so i ordered a new coolant tank it was like around 1200 pesos something like that and i also i bought also like for 1000 the uh, led led bulbs uh, so they working they they giving the white light as i can say that's for now but if they are stronger than the the traditional bulbs i don't know yet i can tell you this uh at night yeah because they are already replaced and now i will replace this coolant <coughs> coolant auxiliary tank good morning guys another upgrade for the falcon we will replace the uh, power steering the mechanism because the the cable it start to be like a broken and it's give it gives like a noises and blocking the the glass sometimes so 2000 2000 pesos on shopee in indonesia or something like that so you can see this also comes to an end I'm installing the glass now and the cable is replaced almost there huh yeah Jawa working <laughs> what's up guys I mean the Dodon Lacksmith in Dumageta I will duplicate my key to the Falcon 9 because there is only one key I want to have a two I want to have a spare one and I like to have more nice than it was before job done guys huh? 250 peso for duplication and for the remote I pay I bought it online I paid like around 400 peso but this is only the housing, so not, not, not including remote. For example, here they selling this kind of key with remote, and then they will program it for you. It's like three thousand five hundred peso. So far, this will be final stage <coughs> until I, I change my mind and maybe paint it all with the polyurethane paint. But as for now, you know, for me, I think it will be good. Most important thing I can put a scuba set here and then put it on my back, you know. This is really, <laughs> really helpful. And you see, this is not, uh, not, I didn't glue this so I can remove it, wash the bed with fresh water. And here I put also like a uh, piece of rubber so now this thing have a support on the on this PVC so when I close it it's not banging anymore it's not moving so guys I'm again in the uh, workshop in Darwin what we will you can see the falcon is already lifted up what we will replace today uh, front axle boot uh, the upper uh, the upper ball joint and the stabilizer uh, connecting ring link both of course yeah so yeah it's 
completely broken, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like split apart? Yes. Check out guys this frame, you know, in this old Toyota. It's like new. So you know, I will show you the here under oh. So the car's not rusting here like for example in Poland, you know. Because you know during winter during winter they put like salt on the road everywhere in Poland so our cars are after you know 10 years 20 years they are already like rusted and this car is like invincible huh old Toyota <laughs> you cannot break it and the 33 inches tires <laughs> so check out this guys not not only the ball joint but also the bushings are <laughs> broken so on this left the left side everything is broken yeah Nah, I got, I got. Okay, Another week, another adventure with the suspension. So, <laughs> this was done in the last week. Like the upper arm. So this is good, but now we have a problem with the lower arm, uh, with the bushings here on the left side. And uh, on the right side, the lower arm bushings are good, but the ball joint need to be replaced and as for the for the upper arm here which is already removed uh, the ball joint is good but the bush one bushing is uh, busted so another exciting time with suspension so hopefully now it will be done you know like because everything will which is needed will be replaced so hopefully i don't need to i don't like need to look at this anymore eh? <laughs> anytime soon bushings removed also this one uh the ball joint this one is okay in the upper arm so now we wait for the Santa Claus with the new bushings. Monster truck? Yeah. Huh? Wheel alignment. Because hold it. I will tell you. Now the wheels can be like that or a little bit like this. Because but it needs to be aligned because we fixed the suspension and everything was removed, put back, you know, changed. Ah, and okay. also the the angles of the wheels they fit like this I think so they need to put it like that okay okay got it I'm so you need special equipment for this but you didn't have breakfast I did Chewbacca is hungry again how much the pressure is 35? 35 they said it should be like 35 Too much. Too 
That's how it looks like before the adjustment. Uh, yeah, before yeah. and after you have also a screenshot. Yeah, yeah okay. The safe track is not in the right position. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they just put it back and you know. You can see like the values okay. change. Oh. It's already yeah, green. <laughs> Every everything should be green. When when Kuya start, everything was red. Yeah, so, all, all red. So we're getting better slowly. We're going there. So guys, it's like 1,800 peso because it's like three leg regulation. But for example, if you bring the multi cap, uh, only 600 peso because much easier to to do the wheel alignment. Okay, I'm going for the test drive. Welcome back in the Falcon 9 launch pad or upgrading center. What what we are doing today is uh, the, the guys here they will replace the clutch master pump. So you see they are already already trying to get it out, pour it out. The new one is here. I bought TRW, so this is like a good brand. I just pull out the door covers here and the, and the speaker. And I will put uh, new JBL speakers because the speakers in the front, they are busted. So they're not working and it was like the original speaker. So I, I still need to cut the cut the, the the plug and and replace it with the connectors one is already there but I need to make bigger holes in, in it because they didn't fit and of course change the change the connectors <laughs> So clutch master pump, it was good diagnosis, you know, now the shifting is much more smooth and I have no problems with the gear one and two, so good. And you know, and the speakers, huh? 